The government of Maldives has distanced itself from the derogatory remark made by its minister, Mariam Shiona, against Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The opinions are personal and do not represent the views of the government of Maldives. An official statement issued by Malay on Sunday said, The government asserted that it believes freedom of expression should be exercised in a democratic and responsible manner and said that relevant authorities of the government will not hesitate to take action against those who make such derogatory remarks. The statement said that the government of Maldives is aware of derogatory remarks on social media platforms against foreign leaders and high-ranking individuals. These opinions are personal and do not represent the views of the government of Maldives. It said, adding that the government believes that the freedom of expression should be exercised in a democratic and responsible manner and in ways that do not spread hatred, negativity and hinder close relationships between the Maldives and international partners. Meanwhile, former Maldives President Mohamed Nasheed condemned the derogatory remarks made by the Maldives Deputy Minister of Youth Empowerment, Mariam Shiona. Nasheed urged President Mohamed Muizu to distance the government from such comments, emphasizing India's instrumental role in the security and prosperity of Maldives. What appalling language by Maldives government official Shuna towards leader of a key ally that is instrumental for Maldives security and prosperity. Mizu government must distance itself from these comments and give clear assurance to India they do not reflect government policy, Nasheed said on X. A massive controversy erupted after Shuna, who is the island nation's deputy minister of youth empowerment, called PM Modi a clown and puppet over his recent Lakshwadeep visit. After the controversy erupted, Indians reportedly cancelled their trips to the island nation. This incident seems to have triggered a boycott Maldives outcry on social media with some ministers of the island country shaming Lakshwadeep after many saw it as an alternative to the Maldives. This row comes amid strained ties between the two countries following President Mohamed Mizu's ascent to power in November last year. Mizu from the Progressive Alliance, a coalition of the Progressive Party of Maldives and the People's National Congress, is considered pro-China. His opponent, former President Ibrahim Mohamed Soli, had good ties with New Delhi and the bilateral relations progressed between the two nations under Soli's rule. Mizu is a close associate of former Maldives President Abdullah Yameen, who is known for his pro-China stance. Mizu is scheduled to visit China on Monday, the Chinese Foreign Ministry said in a statement. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.